Hello gamers, it is the Game Fairy and I'm here with another episode of Deltarune. On the last episode, we ended where Chris and the big bully Susie plummeted down from the supply closet when they were retrieving chalk. Now, Susie is nowhere to be found, but Chris did come to wearing silver armor with a red cape off of his right shoulder. So let's continue and try to find out where we are. So Chris is walking in what appears to be a cave, and the only direction we can go is to the right. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we are going to follow this narrow path. And we do see something on a separate platform facing us. It looks like a door stopper. And as I walk by, it wiggles from left to right, almost as if it's waving at us. But it's not attacking or it's not jumping, it's not moving other than from right to left. So I think it's okay. And I did come across a hole in the wall. Let me examine this. It's too dark to see anything which feels a bit unsettling. I don't know if someone's potentially peeking back at us, but okay, let's, let's keep going. There are more holes now. It almost looks like there is some sort of black liquid seeping from them, but these holes are also too dark to see. I do see there is an eye symbol etched on the side of the cave wall and more waving door stoppers as I walk by. Just more holes, too dark. But I was able to slide down to a lower level in the cave. And I see on a separate platform now, it almost looks like a muck monster of some sort, or maybe a, a bush. But there are little twinkles or little sparks coming from it. It's moving as if it's breathing. I don't know what type of creature or organism this is. I assume that it's alive. And there's more eyes and more holes that are too dark to see as we keep continuing along this pathway. It does split. I can go to the south or I can go to the east. I'm going to try going to the south. And there is a hole in the wall, but this time there's a twinkle inside of it. Let's see what this is. There's something glowing inside. Take it. Yes or no? I'm going to select yes. I, I got a little grabby hands today. Let's, let's see what this is. You got the glow shard. And I'm not sure where that went. Okay, if I press X, I can open our menu screen. So we do have items and a glow shard. I'm not sure what it does, but we can use it, toss it, or key. Oh, it's a shimmering shard. Its use is unknown. So if the use is unknown right now, I'm not going to attempt to use it. But under key items, we do have a cell phone that says it can be used to make calls. I'm going to try that real quick. Oh, it says you tried to call on the cell phone. I assume it's it's ringing. Oh, but it doesn't seem to be working. So no cell towers are working in this cave of of wonder. And let me try to get back to that screen. So we also have so we have these categories: item, equip, power in config. So under equip, we do have a wood blade. 
attack 10, defense 2, magic 0. So we will definitely be doing some battling in this game if we got a blade on us and some attack. And our wood blade is a wooden practice blade with a carbon reinforced core. It doesn't appear we have any armor. So we are level one little babies. We're just starting out. We do have some power. It says our character, Chris, level one human. Body contains a human soul. And we don't have any spells. It's grayed out. But we do have some guts. So that's, that's good to know. Okay, so that's all that was down here was the glow shard of a known use. There are two door stoppers wiggling, waving at me, and one of those muck monsters in the middle of the two. So now it's time to go back up and traverse the path to the right. And we see a door stopper. But this one glows red. I am going to walk by it. Okay, and it shot three orbs at us. In a pattern, there's one in the middle, one to the left, one to the right. And then I did have to dodge two more enemy door stoppers from friend to foe real quick. But we did come across a spark like the one we saw before. You bathed your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. HP fully restored. And we can go ahead and save here. And the save is at the eye puzzle. That is our current location, I believe. There is a sign on the cave wall. Let's see what this is. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Dot, dot, dot. So it looks like that is a hint to a puzzle that we came across. There are three eyes etched on the cave wall. One eye has the two outside dots blacked out so under each eye there are three dots so the first eye has the two dots on the outside blacked out the next eye in the middle has the two dots on the left blacked out and then the eye the very third one has just the dot on the right blacked out so i assume i have to black out all three eyes so I'm going to try the eye on the middle that has the two on the left blacked out. And then I'm going to try the eye at the end that just has the eye on the right blacked out. And as I walk forward, it appears that there is a path, a bridge that appeared out of thin air. And we can continue on our adventure to the right. So... Pretty easy puzzle. I'm not sure if they're going to get much harder, but <laughs> score. <laughs> so in this new area, more holes that are too dark. Definitely feel like someone might be watching us with all these eyes. But there is a, an area for us to slide down. So I'm going to slide down it. And we're finally face to face with these muck like creatures i don't know if it's muck i don't know if they're bushes i'm gonna press a on them oh and it looks like it exploded and left a little pile behind i don't know if that's very nice or or what this is but i guess i'll crush the other one there's three lined up here so i'm gonna oh another one four and I think I just saw someone. I think I just saw a silhouette of someone running. <gasps> and it's Susie. Hey, hey, back off. 
come any closer and I'll... And Susie's eye is gigantic. She seems quite startled. C Chris? Phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. And Susie's looking around. Um, where is here anyway? It doesn't matter. You got us into this mess. You get us out. And Susie's snarling a little at us. And she gets behind Chris. Lead the way, Chris. And it appears Susie, the big old meanie, has joined our party. I'm walking around and now Susie is following swiftly behind. So let's continue the path to the right. Seems like the only place we can go. Oh, and Susie stops us and says, Oh my God, never mind. You walk way too slow. And she speeds off. Which I don't know if this is like the safest option because we don't know where we're at. And we did just get attacked earlier. I assume Susie would have as well. So let's continue. There is another slide of rock. And we're coming back up to Susie. Hello, Susie. That wasn't very far. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? And on a pillar with an eye, there is a silhouette of a character. And they shot two spades at us. R run, Chris! Okay, and now we are dodging from right to left on the screen. There are spades dropping like rainfall. There's so many and I'm trying to avoid them. So far, I'm doing okay. But there are so many of them. They look like balls of, of hail. Okay, and I'm trying to make it all the way through this path to the right. It's so narrow. There's not many places to run. But Chris is doing okay, ducking and dodging. And we made it past, and we met up with Susie again. Chris, down here! And Susie jumped down a giant's slide, and now we are rock sliding. As we're sliding down, now from left to right, there are spades flying through the air. They are almost like fish sliding across. It looks like feeding frenzy. And there were door stoppers lining that path. We did make it to the bottom, though, and this appears like a different area. It's blue and almost appears cartoonish now. It looks like a town, but the places, these houses are slanted to the side and angular. There are blue flames that appear on a castle wall. It's very illumin illuminated and honestly quite pretty with teal and blue. So I am going to speak to Susie who's standing in front of this area just flabbergasted, I guess. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Okay, and I can walk around. There are doors in the front of four buildings, two on each side. So I'm going to try the doors just to see if anyone's home. And the first one I encounter has a bag on it. Looks like a little item bag. And it says, it looks like a shop. But the door is locked and no one's inside. I'm going to go right above that. This house has a sword on it. It's locked. 
Okay, on the right, there is a house labeled in. It's locked. And the last house, which is also on the right, has a question mark. It's locked. So there is no getting in. There are windows on these houses. However, they look a little too small for Chris to crawl in. So we are going to go up to the north past this area of inns and shops and weapons. And there is what appears to be a little town square. So let's click this spark that's in the middle of it. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it, piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. And we can save. We are at Castle Town. It's our new location. And I do see it. It almost looks like a castle. <laughs> and there is that geyser of black energy just pouring from the top. So we are going to approach this castle. We're going up the stairs with Susie. And Susie stops and says, Uh, castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Which is a very valid question. Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy, a voice says. Please come forward, both of you. And Chris and Susie march forward slowly. Welcome, I am the prince of this kingdom. And there is a hooded figure standing before us. There are bricks on the floor, like patches of brick. There is a door behind this character with two giant door knockers on it, and they are standing on a symbol. The upside down eye, the, the, I think I described it as a golden snitch at the beginning, but it's the ball with the wings and then three triangles below it. But now that I look at it, it appears like it's almost an upside down eye. The kingdom of darkness, the character continues. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. And I don't know how this character knows her names already, but okay. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. And I can say no, or we can listen, but I am a little curious about this, so we are going to go ahead and listen. Very well, then, the hooded figure says. And the screen is fading out. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows, and we see the castle. It was a legend of hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. <laughs> For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance, bringing peace to the world and we see the silhouettes of two characters but if this harmony were to shatter a terrible calamity would occur the sky will run black with terror and the land will crack with fear and we see the ground with a giant crack inside then her heart pounding the earth will draw her final breath only then, shining with hope, a picture of a desert, three heroes appear at world's edge. 
A human might be Chris. A monster might be Susie. And the, a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Only then will balance be restored and the world saved from destruction. Today, the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Dot, dot, dot. And we're fading back to Chris, Susie, and the hooded character. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of the legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? And Susie turns to the right and looks back at the hooded figure. Uh, nah. Wha- what? The hooded figure says. Me? Some kind of hero or something? You've got the wrong person. But, but Susie, without you, the world will... So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business, Susie interrupts. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. And the hooded figure is speechless. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait, the hooded figure speaks up. <gasps> and another character rolls in. They are blue and white with a spade instead of eyes. Their tongue is sticking out and it's blue. And they rode in on a motorbike, flame bellowing from the... My brain left. Flame bellowing from the exhaust pipe. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. The heroes are already running away. And they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. This character mocks. Who the hell are you? Susie asks. I'm, and the character spins on their bike with their arm up, uh, the bad guy. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Uh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. And the characters sticking out their tongue, giving a raspberry. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one. Step two, you lose. I might have missed a line there. Hmm, nice plan, kid, Susie mocks. R really Yeah, actually, 
mind if we use it on you instead? And Susie's teeth show. And we're in a battle. Lancer busts in. And Lancer is on the right on their motorbike. The flames coming from the exhaust. And our characters, Chris and Susie, are on the left. Susie has a giant axe. And Chris is holding his big sword. And we have some options here. We can fight, act, item, spare, or defend. Lancer bust in. I guess we are going to fight this Lancer character. I gave it a slash. I took 72. Susie took over 100 damage from this kid. And Lancer rode through on their bike. I was able to dodge the attack. Don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool, Susie says. And we can attempt to attack Lancer again. I do want to try our other options, though. We have one that says act. And I'm going to try that. So we can check, warning, or compliment. I guess I'm going to compliment Lancer. Let's see what happens. You tell Lancer you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. Is that a compliment? He seems flattered. His attack power went down. And Susie smashed Lancer with an axe. With her axe. And Lancer is doing wheelies on us. Whoa, and throwing spades. We did take some damage there. Lancer is thinking about chips. You know what? Me too, Lancer. Chips are probably one of my favorite favorite little snacks. I'm not going to lie. I'm a chip girl. So let's try to attack Lancer again. And Chris swings his sword and Susie swings her axe. So what are you guys doing after this? Lancer asks. And after he asked that, he rode his bike at us, but we were able to dodge it this time. Lancer revs viciously. So this is really getting spicy. But Lancer only has a little bit of damage left, I believe. So let's go ahead and try to attack him one more time. Hopefully this is it. So Chris swings his sword and Susie wails her axe right on down. And Lancer flies away. You won. Got zero experience points and thirty-two dollars. And the hooded figure walks back. And we are out of battle mode now. Are you two okay? The hooded figure says. And they step forward. Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am. Geez, can you take off that hood? Susie asks. I can barely hear you under there. Uh, um, all right, the hooded figure says. And they drop their robe. And we see a character that is adorable. <laughs> they have a lime green, what appears to be like a witch's hat. And on this hat, there are two devil horns type shape they have two ears on both sides they look kind of floppy white glasses and a pink scarf they're also wearing what almost looks like a dress or a tunic of some sort that has a heart on it and the character says hello everyone i'm rousey Definitely way less intimidating than what they appeared to look like before. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. And the character smiles. I'm certain we're gonna we're going to become great friends and best way to leave is east, right? Susie interrupts. Yes, that's where we'll Got it. 
And Susie looks east. See ya at school, Chris. And she heads downwards outside of the castle. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us then. And Rousey looks up at us a little, a little nervous. And he walks over to Chris and stares directly at him. Chris, I'm a prince, but I am um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. And the character perks up a little. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. And Rossi walks behind us. You can lead the way, Chris. Very kind. But isn't this your castle, Rousey? I am going to go to the door that was once behind the hooded figure, now exposed as Rousey. And I'm going to try to go through that door. Hey, Chris, I really think we should catch up with Susie. We can come back here after our adventure is over. And then I can bake you a yummy cake. All right, Rousey, sounds okay. <laughs> I kind of like cake, you know. So we are going to head down the steps and out of the castle. And there is the spark here. Rousey, the lonely prince, is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. And I am going to save, and I'm actually going to end the episode here. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading of Deltarune. I will be doing these weekly, I think, as far as, as I know right now. I think I have time to do them weekly. And I really hope, if you enjoyed this, that you subscribe or like the video. I also hope that you have a good day, a good night, a good time. I will be talking to y'all real soon with some more content. I'll see ya!